Hello, welcome back to the channel, and uh, I want to thank you for your patience. It's been a while, it's been some time ago, uh, last time I've been on. And one of the reasons is I switch carriers, and when you switch carriers, there's always complications. One of the complications was if I wanted to get back onto my YouTube channel, I had to have the passwords over the course with so many passwords for work, for the internet, for the YouTube channel, for Facebook. I, I forgot my, my YouTube channel password, so I couldn't get on board. My son helped me kind of correct that, so now I'm back on board. I kind of wanted to update you kind of about what we're in crunch time about. Uh, as I said in a few videos ago, talked about the calamities, about more coming, uh, about the indwelling that men are too supposed to come to the altar and pray. That's what that uh, one video that I put up, uh, the Knights of the Altar, of St. Joseph. It's on my Facebook page. That's what it's called. Um, if you want to join, you can join. Just type in capital the Knights. K is a capital of the altar capital of St. Joseph. And you should find my page if you'd like to join the page. Uh, we have 70 members aboard at this time. But we kind of literally talk about um, what's kind of going on in the church. And so the crunch time is this. We're, we're getting close to November. And so it's, it's about time for us to vote for uh, our president. And there's so much division right now. There's, I mean, way too much division. And amongst that division is a lot of lies. Um, and it's too far great of detail to go into. But uh, for this time that I've been down away, I, I've I've researched and looked into so many things that it has caused all this. And there's a book written in 1963 called The Naked Communist. Um, I think that's what it's called. And it literally points out 40 things, a criteria to become a communistic country or state. And it's funny that we have a lot of those in place right now for the last four years of all this thing that's taking place of so much division. And so if you want to look at history about communism or socialism, you might want to tap in the 20s of Mexico, what happened to it, and the Catholic Church, Freemasonry and communism, uh, as well as I think it was Pope Pius X in the late 1800s that called upon St. Joseph, the worker, because of communism, because a lot of heresies and so forth come to church. Well, we're coming up to date right now. And so in November, we're going to vote for our president. And trust me, I say it with not at ease because there's a lot of things he does that I'm not happy about, but I vote for life. I vote for pro-life. And I've, I've gone through so many presidents that I've prayed for every president, no matter what. So the rights and the wrongs, but first and foremost, we have to vote for our conscience of what God would want us to vote for out of the Bible, what he calls for, uh, you know. And so the right to life, I put up a video about the reason why I'm here. My mother's yes is because I'm here because I'm a product of rape. So I'm a voice for those children that never made it into this world, what God can do in your life. And so, yeah, I, I'm asking you to, to vote for Trump. And I know a lot of you don't like him. Uh, there's so many things, but the Democrats... They really are trying to turn this country into a socialistic communism uh, country. And we really don't want that. You want to look at Venezuela. You want to look at China, what it what it goes through, what Russia went through. Uh, the errors of Russia, I think that's what kind of is spreading since we haven't consecrated our Blessed Mother to Russia. Um, I started this channel because of the simplistic ways of a person that sits in a pew day in and day out in their lives and journey with Jesus Christ. And also, too, during the most important time, the Holy Mass. And what we're called to be as faithful Catholic Christians. So many people have left the church since all this coronavirus. Just like the last time, the pedophile situation left the church. Very few are hanging on. We're hanging on by a thread. And this election on both sides, no matter what, both sides, it's going to be, it's not going to be good. So we have to do our part as for what God wants us to do. And that's vote for life. And if we vote for the Democrats, 
being Joe Biden or Nancy Pelosi, supposedly good Catholics? Really? I, 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 I dare to say that they, they even follow their faith. And you know, a mass majority of Catholics who don't know their faith have voted in Democrats, even in their own state that's happened. And there was $7 billion surplus and the first year spent it all. And then the coronavirus, and now we're in budget crunch. So yeah, it's, <laughs> we're all going through difficult times. A lot of unemployment, a lot of unknowns, a lot of, but a lot of good too has come out of this. God has brought families together closer. You know, the awakening, are you for me or are you against me? Well, I hope on your free will, your given godly right, you choose the right candidate. You got to look at the, some of the good that, that Trump has done. He's the first president ever to walk into a, a pro-life march and even spoke the first president. So there's those who out there say that he's racist, that uh, he's white supremacist. I can see videos of past when he was young that he had a lot of black friends, a lot of supporters of what he used to do. Uh, he's always been around African-Americans. And so he's, I don't see him as a white supremacist, but you have to dig. You have to dig into your faith. You have to dig into your soul of who you are, what you're called to be in this world for God. And if you do see these things, we have to pray for him. That's all we can do. His tweets, they drive me nuts because I have to stand up for him against all the Democrats that come to me and say, why, what, what about this? And what about that? The same thing with our church. They always ask me questions. Well, why you guys do this? How come this? And how come that? What do I do? Run? No, I got to defend. I got to defend the Holy Church. Well, right now we're in crunch time, folks. And I hope we make the right choice because if we don't, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Because the desecration and that that comes against the church is only begun. Please, please, out of love, not out of judgment, out of love, vote for life. Vote for those who stand for life. God's created. They're not the videos. I could tell you about videos. A quick story. A true story in New Jersey, abortion doctor had a shipping container in the back of his house and it was time uh, for payment and he hadn't paid up for several months. So the shipping container company came by to pick up the container. Well, they couldn't even get it off the ground. So they had to get a crane to put it on the semi-tractor to haul it back to the shipping yard. Along and behold, they take the ship container and they lower it. And the two individuals that opened up the lock, 17,000 fetuses of aborted babies inside. Picture that, that's just one doctor. And we're talking about millions of babies' lives aborted. And Lord have mercy on those who aborted the, the children because a lot of them didn't even know what to do to decide. But it's our given duty as Christians to help those to understand what life is truly about. God gives us this life. God gives us the ability to choose. God puts priests in those churches to, to evangelize for his holy church, but also to speak up for her. Like John the Baptist, he didn't, he didn't play around. He told it like it is or like it was. And look what it did. It cost him his life. So please, please, I beg you, please don't vote for, for Biden. Please don't vote for him. And not because of Trump, but because of what God would want you to do. Please don't vote for Biden. God bless each and every one of you. And thank you for watching The Cup of Truth. Till next time.